Hi. So let's talk about porn. Why porn can be so addictive for many people, especially if you have ADHD? Think about it. Lack of dopamine, impulsivity, novelty seeking, restlessness. Then if you're a young guy, you had testosterone, <laughs> you had hormones, the biological drive you have, perfect recipe for disaster. What do you have nowadays? It's everywhere. Literally, like, it's on your phone. You can take a phone whenever you want and watch anything you want, which is scary. Now you have fast internet, you have an endless supply of the drug of your favorite choice. Free of charge, of course. You can literally lose yourself in that. So let me tell you a story. When I was a teen, this was, you know, pretty old. But when I was young, it was 2001, 2002, the, there was no high-speed internet. There was no tube sites. There were some sites you go into and you, they had a paywall and many times they had different viruses. So you would never go to a site like that if you were smart. It was really diffic very difficult to attain. I mean, remember my friend, he used to, he had an adult channel. So he would sometimes tape us, you know, some film on TV. And then we, he'd give us the cassette. I mean, this, this was VHS era. Do you remember the VHS? This was before the DVD. So it was really... A hassle to <laughs> to get. So I remember one situation where my neighbor, uh, his 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 dad, he had a stash of videos and uh, he had a magazines. So every time his parents would go, you know, like somewhere <laughs> on, on a cottage or something, we'd go to my friends and you know just <laughs> look at the magazines and it was so exciting. We were... But that's how it was. It was very difficult to attain. I would wait till Friday, which was a highlight for me because. My channel at midnight would show a movie, erotic French softcore movie. That was a highlight of my week, to see that film. <laughs> and they were usually very bad films, but <laughs> they were erotic movies. It was really a hassle to get the stuff. <clears throat> you, had, you had programs like LimeWire, Casa, that you could download maybe clips from the movies, but I mean, that's it. It took, it took very long time to download something. Those were different times. People will never understand how hard it was. Around 2008, 2007, you know, the tube sites came and, you know, everything just exploded. You know, it changed the industry. Now everything is at your fingertips. Just, you can go anytime, which makes it very dangerous. Because it's always, it's always there. It's like if you're an alcoholic and you have a bar at home. It's going to be constant temptation. And that's how it is with... Uh, you know, these sites, because you, you know you have the internet connection, you know you have a phone, you know you have a computer. You have to always fight this. If you have a problem with this, then you have, it's always a daily fight for people. This puts many people at risk, because with endless supply and novelty seeking, you can basically lose yourself. You go on a site, you just click on a thumbnail, another thumbnail. You know, it becomes very addictive. And one thing also, that the movies have changed. I mean, many people, young people now, but they would laugh at movies of the 70s and 80s. I mean, they were like sitcoms. If you watch it now, they're like funny sitcoms that had sex in it. They were hilarious. Now everything's progressed. Now you have everything for every taste. Basically, it's an addict's dream. And at some point, this all would turn against you, especially if you're very young and you're just... You're desynthesizing your brain to this stuff. You're watching it all the time. It's not going to do any good to you. If you, have, if you have a very bad period in your life or a weak moment, I mean, that's it. That's why a lot of people these days, they struggle. They have a huge problem with this, huge addiction. Because it's literally all the time at your fingertips. It's free and you can get it anytime you want. So it's definitely addictive. And I think it's a very huge thing in our society. The, the, the younger generation, they just, they just have to somehow, you know, fight it. So yeah, we live in a very interesting, addictive times. We have, this, we have this technology everywhere. We have everything so fast, fast internet. But there's a price. There's a very bad things that can happen through that. So what do you think? Let me know your opinion in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. I will talk to you next time. Take care and bye.